I want to share with you a tool that I created. It's a downloadable PDF. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can use it. I tried to make something that will most quickly teach you to see value in color, and that's probably the hardest but most beneficial skill that you can have as a painter. On these printouts, I made places where you can cut them out first. Uh, I just took them to FedEx and got them laminated. You can do it yourself there. I think it costs like eight bucks. The reason I did that was so that there was uh, a tool that I could actually put paint on and I could clean it off and it could actually be transparent. I could take any given color mixture that I might have and place it on these spots of values. Then if I know what value a particular color is, I could find a different color and match them up so that I know whether or not I'm lightening or darkening a color when I'm mixing it. So I found two colors that are the exact same value. I mix them together into a color change that is still the exact same value. And then I can place it on this value chart on the side here that's got a cutout so that if I wanted to hold it up to a painting and compare values, I can do that. By having these cutouts, I can also match colors that are already on an existing painting. Um, from previous experience, it's a good idea to either not lay it up against your painting or wait until the painting is dry when you lay it up against it. Just saying for a friend. The nice thing about it is, is you can just wipe it off. If it gets really smudgy like that, using a little bit of vegetable oil or linseed oil will make it come right off and you can get it clean again. So in this case, I have the color or the value wheel that I was showing you. I have a value chart. That it's, it's a more extensive value chart and it labels certain colors where they fall on the value chart. So you can have an idea of certain value mixtures that are just straight tube colors. So for example, burnt sienna is right here. The last thing I did is I set up a palette description that also shows that kind of like quadrant format that I've been using for other palettes. So for example, you can take any given prismatic palette and then begin to organize it in terms of quadrants and start finding mixtures. Any given color can be moved in any particular direction, whether you need to lighten it, darken it, warm it, or cool it. So if I wanted to say, warm up this green a little bit, I can add a little bit of my warm mixture to it. I talked about having a tool like this for a number of years, and then I finally got around to making a tool like this a couple of years ago, and I actually got around to using that tool about a year, year and a half ago, and I'm finding it really valuable. So if you think a tool like this might be helpful in your practice, feel free to click the link below, download one for yourself, and laminate it. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. If you have toddlers, you understand.